the saying goes, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but is that really true? You can. Okay, well there are some great things to do that can help you be successful with your pet. And Lydia Vesterfeld with Michigan Humane joins us in studio to share some tips, teach us some tricks. And she also has a new adorable pet that needs a home. And of course, our sponsor, the Mike Morris Law Firm, will pay the standard adoption fees for whoever adopts today's pet. Who do you have with you, Lydia? Thanks for hanging out with us. Of course. Uh, we have Darla today. Darla is a senior Pomeranian. She is 12 years old. She did come into us as a stray. She has been a very sweet lady ever since she's come into our care. She really enjoys being held or just chilling out on a comfy bed like this and hanging out. She feels like a madame. Yeah, oh yes. Madame yes, Darla. And of course. She is royalty. <laughs> Little dogs like that typically have very long life mm -hmm. spans. She's got good years in her left. Oh yeah, yeah. She's definitely got a lot of life left in her. Um, she does have a couple of medical issues that she is working with, so she is going to need to go to a home um, that has a strong relationship with their veterinarian okay. that can make sure she has her regular visits and keeps up on um, all of her health so she can be as healthy and happy for as long as possible. All right, so what then, what kind of home would make a good match? Should this be someone who spends a lot of time at home? Are kids a good idea? Right, yeah, so Darla is missing some teeth. So she is on a um, soft, a wet food diet. So she will need to be able to have that. She also is a little vision impaired and hearing impaired as well. So definitely a home that's gonna be a little bit easier for her to navigate. Mm -hmm. Um, just so she can get around, you know, as easy yeah. as possible, even though she does just like to kind of hang out in the bed, you know. <laughs> yeah, make it easy for her. She might decide to get up and run around. Right, today, so right. Make it makes sense. Yeah. Right. She's very sweet and well behaved. She is, she yeah, is. she is. She <clears throat> is. Very chill. Yeah. Well, now this is the time of year where people start thinking about trick or treating, and you want to talk about treating your <laughs> treating your dog with some new tricks. Yeah. Tell us about these. Is this possible? It is. It is possible with a lot of um, patience and positivity. It can be a really great experience for you and your pet. Um, one of the first things to figure out is just find out what motivates your dog. I'll, I feel like a lot of people think that food is the main motivator, but that's not always the case. Sometimes dogs prefer toys or other dogs or they... Praise. Yes, mm -hmm. praise, or they just they just want to make you happy. So it's not always treats. So once you discover what your dog's favorite thing is, you can kind of use that as an incentive for when you're doing tricks moving forward and just being making it a positive experience, using positive reinforcement, never punishing them if it takes them a little bit longer to learn a new trick, and just trying to make it as fun as possible for the both of you. So it's also about getting to know your dog, uh -huh. right? And of course, learning their ways and being able to match them and meet them where they are. Yeah, of course. Some dogs are really eager to learn just beyond typical obedience. They want to perform and do tricks like that and some dogs don't. So just kind of figuring out what um, works best for them. All right, all right, great information. All right, and remember everyone, the Mike Morris Law Firm will pay the standard adoption fees for whoever adopts today's pet of the week. And the Mike Morris Law Firm wants to help you if you need legal help. Visit their website, 855mikewins.com or call the same. 855 Mike Wins to find out if you have a case. Lydia, thank you so much. Of course. Bye.